I'm Shane Chapman from the Ultimate Deck Shop, and this is Deck Shop Shorts. Baby, I got another trick up my sleeve. Okay, somebody get me out of get me out of this get me out of this. Come on. Today we're talking about the new camo edge system. It's right here. <clears throat> There's a new clip system in town, and I think you should know about it. Camo's been making deck fastening tools and screws and all sorts of stuff for a lot of years, but nothing's got us this excited before. There's a new dog in town, and this clip system will work with most composite decking. It's called the Camo Edge Clip. Now, what's cool about this clip over any other clip? There's tons of clips out there. You could use any clip. Couldn't you use any clip? But they ain't like this clip. How this clip's gonna work? And I've lost all my stuff here now. How do I even get through this episode? This clip has little horseshoe grabber thingies right here. That's the technical name that Camo uses. Now. What these are designed to do is grip over top of the joist. Let's pretend that this right here is our wood joist. These aren't, these are super awesome decorator sleepers, but if these were wood, how this works is this clip system will grab the edges of the joist. So even when it's not in the board, it's holding itself in place. That's incredible. I know people who can't do that themselves on their own two feet. But this clip will hold itself in place. And why that's important is everybody knows that's done decks before that the clips don't sit into the board nicely themselves. You gotta hold them while you screw them, and you gotta start them, and then you gotta stop before you're done, and then put the next board on, and then finish the screw. That's a pain in the butt. So these things will hold themselves in place right into that groove. And what that means is that you can then put your next board on before you even fasten this one at all, and you can do your whole deck before you touch a single screw. Now, you're probably thinking, that's great, but what about all the angled decks that I do? Well, they've thought about that too. The Camo Edge X Clip is for when your joists aren't 90 degrees to the deck board. So in this situation here, if we just roll this out here like this and do a little bit of something like that, and a little bit of this here and a little bit of that, this guy's not gonna fit over this joist because it's turned on an angle, or maybe you have some flat blocking in the way. If that's the case, if it's just a flat block here or there, these little wings will snap off and you can still use this clip. But if you've got a whole deck with angled decking, the X edge clip, edge X clip, is the one you're gonna wanna use. And so this one, you squeeze the little X wings here and it'll slide into the board just the same as the other one would, but holds itself in place instead of over the joist, it holds itself in place inside the groove. It's still just as cool. But the other one's a little bit faster. So if you're on straight runs, use the edge clip. If you've got some obstructions or 45 degree decking, use the X clip. That's the moral of the story here. So that's cool for one, but then like they're like, okay, well, what's the problem with our clips? Well, they use little tiny screws. Nothing wrong with using little tiny screws if you've got little tiny hands, but not all of us have little tiny hands. So what they did, and there's pieces flying everywhere, this is fantastic. What they did is they, they included one of these little guys in every little box. And I know it hurts people's feelings when I call this a stupid little gimmick, but it kind of is. But it kind of works really good too, though, so it's kind of not. Now, this plops over top of the screw head. These little spacers here are the same spacer as the deck. So that's 3 16 of an inch is what these are going to give you, which is a perfect gap. Any less, it's too tight. Any big, it looks unsightly. These plop over top of and allow the funnel that this creates to guide your drill bit onto the screw with no effort. You don't have to sit there and try to line the screw up. You just plop this in, plop your drill in, drive the screw, done. But then they were like, okay, well that's cool too. But what about contractors? Do they really want to use this little thing here? Probably not, they're like, whatever. Um, so they came out with another tool. And they said, listen, I don't know if this is how this went. I don't know, this is, probably not. I wasn't there. I wasn't there when they made this clip, okay? What they then thought was like, there's probably an easier way to, to uh, put these screws down, likely. And what that could be is in the form of a big tool. And so they were in development of this gun right here. This little beautiful Scarface looking mother. This tool right here allows you to do three types of fastening. This was already in development. They were already doing this. And how this thing was gonna work, just 
give me a minute, I gotta find all my parts again now. How this little thing works here is with this end right here, you've got face screwing action happening here, okay? And so I'm not gonna stand up because I'm as lazy as the next guy. This guy here will load up, where is it? Can I get some help around here? These screws right here, three inch face screws. Now these load into the gun, they're collated, and they drive face screws down through the board with any drill attachment. You can use any drill you want. And this will plunge in and screw those screws in. That's gonna work great for treated decking or cedar decking or any face screwing application. You can do that with plywood or whatever you want. Any sort of face down screw application that'll work with. Now, if you don't want to do face screwing, which you shouldn't, because there's better ways to go about this, you pop this end off, you pop this end on, now, You've got edge screwing. And we've shown this before with a little jig. It allows you to go in on an angle. I'm giving the cameraman a workout today. All over the map with this stuff, you know what I mean? This little guy here will position itself on the board and drive little tiny screws through the edge of the board to give you a hidden fastener look if you want to start driving these through cedar, for example, or redwood, or any sort of edge fastening application. Now these also come in big strips, just like this. They're a little bit smaller of a screw. They're amazing. So now you're doing this application standing up with this drill, but the coolest part of this, and I'm telling you, some things get me up in the morning, some things don't, this one didn't, but it's still good. Uh, what this is gonna do is now we've got our clips lined up in our boards, right? We've laid the whole deck out. The whole thing, <laughs> awkward pause. And now we can go back, we swap this end out again, pop this thing out right here. While well, we're looking for our other piece here, get this one jammed in here, okay? I'm new, don't, don't stress about that. But the president of the company was like, hey, don't we have this drive tool thing being created right now that does the face screws and the edge screws? Couldn't that also do what that stupid little yellow thing does? Like, couldn't we put the yellow thing on the thing and then the thing could drive the things in easier? And they're like, uh, yeah, I, supp I, I suppose it could. Here it is. Bam. This became this. Now we're talking. Now we're standing up. And again, I'm not. I had a late night last night. And this thing plops over top of these screws and bam, drives your screws in. Next one, you don't even have to be accurate. Bam, drives that screw in. How is this even possible that you can have a clip system that drives without getting down on your knees. I don't know. Bryce, grab me the camel lever. You can do the whole deck in this. You put down your first board, you put all your clips in, you put all the boards in. You get the whole deck, the whole deck laid out. And then you send one guy back that doesn't know what he's doing. He's not useful for anything else. He can't cut blocking. He can't cut a straight 90 degree cut on a miter saw. He can barely mark out layout. He can't write with a pencil. It's just like, find that guy, give this foolproof tool to him and let him walk around and pound screws all day. You gotta find a few decks because this won't take all day, it'll take you 40 minutes. Now, if you're gonna lay out a whole bunch of boards at the same time and not fasten any, fasten any of them down, you wanna go down with the screw and do all this stuff afterwards, then why not pick yourself up a camel lever tool? We've talked about this before. And what this is gonna do is it grabs the joist and it has this cam action that's gonna press the boards into place. So now you've got 30 boards in a row, all sitting loosely with the, these little guys gripping the joist, like a kid on a Ferris wheel. And this thing is gonna compress all the boards in tight so that it closes in on the spacers and makes the gaps all consistent. And then Teddy, the guy who doesn't know what he's doing, goes down and drives all the screws and the deck's done. It's unbelievable. Pick yourself up some camo edge clips. Pick yourself up a camo drive tool. Pick yourself up some camo levers. Call me. Let me know how it goes. These things are amazing. Now, just to cut with the silly crap, these little uh, bits here come with the, the drive tool. You need to change these bits out. They're color coded. Look, there's a black stripe on this one. There's a yellow and a red stripe on this one. Or orange or whatever color you want to call that. Orange. Orange, right? 
Black is for the face screws. It's a bigger bit. If you don't use this one, it's going to spin out a bunch. Then you're going to call your rep or you're going to call me and you're going to be like, this thing doesn't work very well. And we're like, it works amazing. What are you talking about? Everybody else loves the thing. We can't keep these things on the shelf. They're flying out here. And he's going to say, no, I'm telling you, they don't drive the screws. And we're going to say, it's your problem. It's a user error. What are you doing wrong? You can't not get the tool right. It's foolproof. We told you it's foolproof. You bought the thing. We showed you how to, everything's working. And what is the problem here? And then you're going to find out that he put the wrong bit in the tool. So put the right bit in the tool. Don't be a tool. And then you'll have a deck laid in no time. This tool is awesome. The clips are awesome. Pick some up. Try them out. Call me. I want to know. This has been another episode of Deck Shop Shorts. And I need a nap. Baby, I got another trick up my sleeve.